Hey guys, so I wanted to go over a well, one of the cool ways to create characters for 3ds Max to use in your scenes. So not a lot of people get to do this, especially in the AEC industry. So this is just uh, one way that you create your own custom characters that um, is kind of fun to do. So basically, at this character uh, generator .autodesk.com site, um, you'll sign up and you'll have access to uh, this Autodesk character generator uh, interface right here. So basically I'm going to start a new um, character and um, the way the character generator works is it works uh, some of it works through a cloud system where this blue symbol there means um, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pay for um, certain aspects of that character which comes through some like cloud, cloud credits they're really cheap it's really inexpensive so it's uh, and it's really it's really fun to do so um, if you if you want to give character creation a shot this is a good way to do it so uh, basically you go through and select your style of character that you kind of want to aim for um, I kind of like that dude pick him and then what it does is it puts two faces it puts two uh, characters together here. It puts Min and then Gilbert. So Min and Gilbert are there so to create that that template that we were looking at. So if you go through, you could slide it more to the left, it's more Min. If you slide it more or to, to the right, sorry, it's Min. If you slide it to the left, it's more Gilbert. Um, and so that's how that system works. Um, you could come in and drop any other face in there to um, overwrite the particular character so let's go there drop that guy in and you'll see that the face when I slide it over takes on more of that guy's uh, that guy's face it morphs, morphs it basically from one to the other so that's all that's doing you do the same for the eyes ears chin mouth and chin you know so on uh, for all the facial features um, so let's say I want to give this guy a bigger mouth or a smaller mouth. So you should see his mouth shrink down a little bit. Oh, there we go. Kind of match up with that guy. And so I'm going to select finish here. Oh, cancel. Uh, go. I went, sorry, don't finish. <laughs> that finishes the character. So um, this is next one is the skin. So obviously you got plenty of choices here. That you can choose from uh, as far as skin uh, alternatives. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it as is and then pick the eyeballs. Um, actually, let's have some fun. I'm gonna pick zombie. I don't know. That looks like a zombie green or something. Alien. I don't know what that is. Lizard. Something. Maybe give them yellow eye. Oh, lizard eyes. There we go. So you can go through. It gives you plenty of options for the eyes and stuff, for the hair. Um, I'm just going to give it a mohawk. And body body style. Uh, tons to choose from. And again, you just, uh, you just mix and match everything together. Um, exactly how you want. And then finally clothes. And it gives you an option between a few different pieces of clothing. Um, let's make our alien dude a working alien dude, or whatever he is, lizard lizard dude. Let's give him. So right now I'm just going through the shirt, uh, the pants, and the shoes. And I don't know why he didn't tuck in his shirt. So I am going to give him a different shirt then. Oh, I see. Shows it not tucked in. So let's pick a tucked in shirt. There we go. So our guy is there. Um, at least our basic character. And so you hit finish. And right here you call it whatever you want. Uh, lizard working dude. 
hit OK. And brings you back to the main interface right here. And a message should pop up uh, right here. I want to select a generate character. Um, and I'm going to choose the, again, the blue symbol is the cloud credits. Um, they're not, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that expensive. Give it a shot. Uh, 70 inches. Let's make this guy, I don't know, 10 feet tall. He's a tall working dude. Uh, actually, I better, <laughs> I better not do that because it's not going to work with the second half of my tutorial, I don't think, very well. Ah, what the heck. Might as well try it. So, poly resolution. I'm going to go high, uh, clothes. I want specular map, normal map, uh, facial expressions. Uh, I want the facial blend shapes, and I'll show you what that is when we get there. And here I'm going to choose the 3DX, 3DS Max FBX. I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. Um, here, notification take a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause, um, and I'll come back when that's done. Okay, it only it took a few minutes to generate the character, but you see, uh, is it working? This popped up generated character one. Um, typically, I don't save these things; I just delete them when I'm done because I download them. Um, so here's my lizard working dude. Um, I can just purchase a download. Uh, again, the credits aren't that much, so I got five here. Uh, it's five credits uh, to purchase and download the guy. So I'm going to hit purchase and download, and I'm going to save it in a location um, right there, and then I'm going to switch to 3ds Max with that saved. and I'm going to import it. So I just go to File, Import, um, oh whoops, it's not what I wanted to do. File, Import, and what I want to do is... Ex Sorry about that, my uh, Headphones uh, crashed out, so I'm gonna do extract. I'm gonna extract my lizard working dude here, and import my FBX file. It's uh, Autodesk Media and Entertainment. I'm just gonna accept everything as default. Hit OK. And you'll see it's importing um, my character. So looks pretty good. I like this character. Um, the quality is pretty decent. If I hit render, you'll see um, nothing because I don't have any lights or anything in the scene. But you get the point. It's pretty. It's pretty good uh, quality here. Um, so, come with the character comes the bone system and all that stuff. So the way that works is I could come in here. You could see it's skin and the morpher. So I could zoom into his face here, and why I selected the morpher is when I exported it. So I could come in here, create different expressions uh, with the character. So that that was the whole that was the whole reason for for this uh, for the morphing uh, deal. You can do the bone system by itself, and it won't come with these morphs. But I find these pretty convenient to kind of pose and uh, create your characters, especially if you want to do something close up and. Um, Make it make it unique, so you can see. You know, he's got a pretty unique <laughs> expression now. Uh, so the the next cool thing about the the system. Oh, the next cool thing is Autodesk is cool enough to create this script. Um, and what it what it does is it converts. Um, when you when I when I did that export. Of the file, it created this character FBX to biped script um, that converts the bones into a biped system. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to run that script, and you can see it's doing a whole bunch of stuff. It's just creating this system, the biped uh, system. FBX to character studio biped is complete. So you can see now when I pick this, now I can wobble his head around. Um, 
you know, good way to deal with just the bones is you can come over here, select the bones, control all um, object properties, and just set them to uh, display the box. Kind of a kind of an easy way to so you can see your character while you're working with the bone system, um, so you can see it all works naturally. Um, the cool part of it is you can load biped files. Um, there's bip files right here, um, which is basically motion capture. So I have some basic ones that aren't meant for this character in general, but um, you can see down here there's a preview of the, what the biped will do. If you kind of drag this, um, you can see the preview down there. So. I don't know, I'll have him do scissors kicked, I guess. It's like that. Hit OK. Um, and what I was saying is that these bipeds weren't built for this specific character. So you can see he kind of looks his head squishy. And so you have to come in, you use this as a starting point, and then you just kind of um, fix your character after that. So let's say I get. Let's say I get him like that. That's how I want, but I don't like particular features. Um, so you just come in pose your character uh, much better much better way that you want to pose them um, right there so so I come in here sorry you just pick the bone kind of twist his head a little bit oops what am I doing so you can twist it exactly how you want um, come in here select fingers you know all these things so you can Select the various different features here, and if you go to keep it on local, if you keep it on local, you know make sure everything bends correctly. So just keep that in mind. Whoops, just use, using the right axis. So there we go. So you can see you can pose your character however you wish. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I just I wanted to present something. Um, for the non-character generating, non-character creation pe uh, people out there who actually want to do it and uh, without going through the whole huge efforts of creating one manually. So, thanks guys.